Hey guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video showing you the results of a new technique I was trying on this wig to make it look more realistic. This wig is originally from an Etsy store called X and O, which I'll link below. I'll also put a video over here, which uh, was my initial review of this wig when I first got it in the mail. I guess you can call it an unboxing. It was just my initial reactions, and I loved it, and I still do. I just had to do some minor improvements on it just to make it look more natural. So for one thing, this wig was slightly shiny, not nearly as bad as the costume wigs you're going to find on eBay for like 20 bucks, but still had a little bit of shine to it, and that's probably just because I chose such a light color. So something I did to get rid of the shine was I used a translucent makeup. It's just translucent powder. I wouldn't recommend using that, but it's all I had in hand. It would be a lot cheaper to just go with uh, talcum powder, or if you have dry shampoo already, I'm sorry, you could just spray that in and it would get rid of some of the shine. So the main thing I want to show in this video is a technique I actually learned from Blondie Locks, and she's much, much, much better at it than I am. She's a YouTuber on here. I'll put the link to her channel below. But what I did is, since this wig doesn't have its own part, I took a concealer stick and I put it throughout a concealer stick that's like roughly my skin color. And then on top of that, I put eyeshadow to make it look like my roots are growing in. And I also put it along the hairline. It's a little bit messy right now, and I'm not completely done modifying this wig. It's gonna look a lot better when it's done, hopefully. I also wanna get a pair of blending shears to thin this out, because right now it's very thick. It almost looks like I teased it, like scene queen hair, which is not the look I'm going for. But the reason I'm putting so much work into this wig now is because I'm actually gonna wear it to a renaissance fair that's near me. Um, I'm probably gonna go within the next couple weeks, and I'm gonna dress up as probably a fairy, because I already have a pair of fairy wings. And I thought this hair color would look so cute as a fairy costume. Let me show you the wings. So here's what the wings look like. I actually got them from the Renaissance Fair that I went to maybe like three years ago, the same Renaissance Fair, and there was just a little shop there selling fairy wings. I think they're still pretty. So two questions for you guys before I close out the video. First, let me know what you think of this root I put in. It looks a little bit better in person, I think, than it does on camera, but you get the idea of what it's supposed to look like, and I'm definitely gonna clean it up a little bit before I'm totally done. Also, if you have any other ideas of how to make this wig look more realistic, you can comment below your tips. That would be really helpful. The other question I have is, what do you think of my fairy costume? What other additions do you think I could add to it to make it look even cuter? I thought this moon necklace went really nicely with the costume as well. But I wear this every single day, so that's just my excuse for wearing it even more. <laughs> also, this makeup was for the fairy costume too, because I was trying it on today. Put in a couple little extra wispy wings. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.